We have come to Twin Falls, Idaho, which is just a couple hours east of Boise. And we are headed out today to explore. There's quite a bit to see here in Twin Falls. So let's go. First up, Shoshone Falls. So Shoshone Falls, we are in the Snake River Canyon here. Yeah, what an incredible set of waterfalls. Um, it's actually known as the Niagara of the West. Yep, it's 212 feet tall. And it's multi-terraced, so it actually spans a thousand feet wide. It's a sight to see, a definite must-stop visit. It was five dollars to park, uh, so really inexpensive and there's beautiful green park areas to have a picnic lunch and lots of trails to hike so i think that's what we're headed to do now So about a mile and a half hike from the Shoshone Falls just happens to be the site of one of my childhood heroes. Uh, Evil Knievel tried to jump the Snake Canyon here. Yeah, so we're headed to the site that he launched from and apparently the ramp is still there. So yeah, the, the dirt mound that they used to launch him across is still there and there's supposed to be some kind of monument so we want to check it out. Yeah. So the falls viewing place is towards the bottom of the canyon and of course it makes sense that the Knievel Knievel jump site is at the top of the canyon which means you're having to walk all the way up. <laughs> So it occurred to us that, well, most of you probably know who Evil Knievel is. There might be a few of you who don't. So um, figured we'd let you know. Yeah, so back in the 60s and 70s, he was a motorcycle daredevil. So he jumped cars, he jumped Caesar's Fountain in Las Vegas, and it got more extreme, more extreme, more extreme as he went on. And yeah, over his career, he had 70 different stunts and broke over 300 bones. Yep. <laughs> so he was definitely entertaining to watch. And so one of his jumps that he wanted to do was to jump the Grand Canyon. He realized that the government was never going to allow that to happen, which is what brought him here to the Snake River Canyon. Right, so he leased some property here and in 1974 attempted to jump 
the Snake River Canyon. So it's over 1,600 feet across, so not something that you're gonna do on a motorcycle. Nope, he had a specially designed vehicle that he used. It was a steam-powered, it was called the Sky Cycle. It looked like a rocket. It was basically a rocket. He, okay, he rocketed himself across this <laughs> canyon. <laughs> but on his attempt to cross, the parachute for the Sky Cycle prematurely opened right. on takeoff. And he actually made it to the other side, but the parachute actually pulled the Sky Cycle back down into the canyon where he landed at the at the bottom but yeah pretty pretty incredible guy and for any boy uh, growing up in the 70s like TJ he was just an absolute idol um, yeah, absolutely yeah this is the what's left of the launch ramp yeah I know it's hard to tell on camera but we climbed up to the top of it and it's pretty tall <laughs> so it's, it, it's pretty daring to, to attempt something just the height of the ramp alone and then to try to across 1600 feet is pretty amazing. Yeah, absolutely. An, an incredible feat and if it weren't for the parachute, he would have made it. Yeah. That was Shoshone Falls. What'd you think, T? That was awesome. I, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I did too. And they say, uh, we're here in September, and they say in the spring it's even more impressive because there's more water coming yeah. over the falls. Yeah, they say the water level is really down right now, so it's pretty slow. Yeah. I can imagine in the spring it's pretty spectacular. Yeah, absolutely. Honestly, it's pretty spectacular right now. All right, so next stop. Next up is the Perrin Bridge. Yeah, in Centennial Waterfront Park. All right, well, we've come to Centennial Waterfront Park, which so far appears to be absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's got an amazing view of the Perrin Bridge. Uh, so we're doing a short hike out to hopefully get some cool shots of that bridge. We did decide to leave the dogs back in the van um, because this area is covered in foxtail weeds. And uh, if you haven't seen our video on foxtails, foxtails and dogs do not mix very well. We'll link that video up above so that you guys can check it out. They can be very costly with animals for yes. sure. Yes. Uh, so it's plenty cool enough and it's just a short hike out to this viewpoint. So we left them behind in the van. Behind us is the Perrin Bridge, which is the eighth tallest bridge in the United States at 486 feet tall. Yep, and its claim to fame is people will base jump off it. If you're not familiar with what base jumping is, it's basically jumping off a stationary object with your parachute. Yeah, like a bridge or a building or something like that. So yep. unfortunately, nobody's base jumping today. I'm not sure that... It's a little windy for that. It's a beautiful bridge. Uh, really cool to see. It goes over the Snake River Canyon here. are driving through the Centennial Waterfront Park and man it's a beautiful park. It's just a small little park but it's really pretty. 
did a nice job there. There are lots of picnic tables um, and like shelters uh, with little barbecue pits and playgrounds and the river runs right through here. And yeah, boat ramps, kayak launch. It looks like they have some zip lining deals set up over here. Yeah, uh, really lush green manicured lawns. Um, just a, a really beautiful park. Yeah, a great view of the bridge. Yeah, you can't beat the view. Um, it is almost six o'clock though and our tummies are telling us it's time to get home for dinner as are the dogs. So Mainly the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna call it a night and yeah. uh, I think this might be our last day here also. Yeah, um, you know, I think you could spend a couple of days in Twin Falls, um, but unfortunately tomorrow, actually it's started moving in uh, this afternoon. There's some storms coming and, and, you know, I think because of that, rather than stick around, we've decided to go ahead and move on. All right, our time here in Twin Falls is done. Yeah, it's been a, a really good stay. We've been staying at the Rock Creek Campground, which is a county park. Yep, county park. It's uh, located here right in the middle of town, pretty much. It's uh, pretty close to all the attractions that we visited. <laughs> uh, and it's only 20 bucks a night for water electric, so you can't beat that. And it's a beautiful park. It's There's quite a few parks here in Twin Falls and they're just all beautiful with lush green grass. This one actually has a disc golf course here and yeah, nice walking trail, right. uh, a little river running through it. It's uh, really pretty. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, so we have definitely enjoyed our stay here. Lots of uh, really cool things to check out between the uh, Niagara of the West Shoshone Falls and the Perrin Bridge. Um, but we are headed out of here today, headed on to Craters of the Moon. Yeah. Well, we hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you want to keep following along, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.